My dear friends, these are not just questions to be discussed at meetings. Their question, these questions need to be asking yourselves. Every month, every day, these are the questions you need to answer and act with full commitment. Six months ago, in my final address as the chairman of the divisional annual meeting, I talked about the growth that needs to take place in the Indian division if we are to remain a community that shines the Dia among the Fiji, Indo-Fijian community. If we want the Dia to shine, this is what I said, and I like to quote that. I said, out of the 297,000 non-Christians living in Fiji, if the Indian division was able to convert just 1% of our non-Christian brothers and sisters, we would double our membership. This is what I said. Imagine this figure. 297,000 people do not know the Lord Jesus Christ in Fiji. And the church has been here over 175 years. And we are unable to reach these people. And we, if we want to be a moral church, we need to go out of these four walls to the highways and byways. We need to go and gossip the gospel. And today I want to make the same challenge to Dudley II that I made to the annual meeting. I laid this challenge at the foot of this century. I want to lay this challenge here and I want to remember you, remember this challenge, you to remember this challenge every time you enter this church. We must be burdened of this big figure. We cannot sit back and say, I'm okay. We, are, we cannot be saved, we are content. No. We need to stand up. We need to be concerned of people dying there every day without knowing who Jesus is. And yet, we want to sit in our comfort zone. We don't want to move out. I want to challenge Dudley, the mother church of the Indian division. We are a very multi-racial congregation here the model church, and we need to move out. Together, join hands and bring. I want to challenge you to make evangelism a priority for the next seven years in Dudley Second. To make it a priority for every member, every group, every fellowship, every program, and everything we do from here in the name of Dudley that evangelism will be right on top. Not only for the second outreach team, but evangelism will be right on top for women's fellowship, for men's fellowship, for Sunday school, for youth, for Bible study groups, all the fellowships that will put evangelism right on top. Many times we just come and do our own business go away. My dear friends, I have always been burdened for evangelism. And I've been carrying this burden for a long, long time. I want you to join hands. You know, many of the people are saying, why are you leaving us? It's not that I am leaving you. I am this passing on the pattern to the next runner. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race, as Paul said. I am just passing the pattern. My heart is still burdened for evangelism, for the unsaved people. It means that both lay leaders and members as well as the staff they need to be committed to this. We must have the passion for outreach. If we don't have that passion, we are not a church. Church is a church that needs to grow. 
you know the Acts of the Apostles, the establishment of the first church? The Word of God tells us the Lord added to the group those who were being saved on a daily basis. Because they were a praying church, a church that had unity, a church that they had fellowship, and the result was miracles were happening every day, and new people were doing it. This is what we need to go back to that early church. We need to light the fire in our hearts once again. We need to have the passion for Christ that seems to have grown cold in our hearts. If we have this passion, if we encourage this person to burn brighter in our members, just like we blow air through the pipe in the chula, the fukuni, as we blow the air so that the fire may light, we need to do that with the gospel. आप लोग जो ननु को में रहते हैं जो पहाड़ चूला है आप हमेशा एक लोहा इस्तेमाल करते हैं चूला बाड़ने फूकने के लिए उसी तरह से हमें परमेश्वर के बचन को फूकना है ताकि ज्योति और आग लोगों के दिलों तक पहुंचे और वे प्रभु यीशु मसीह को जान सके माय ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स लाइक पॉल आई हैव फॉट द गुड फाइट it has not been easy road there have been times when i had no i had to make some very difficult decisions and stand up to other church leaders on issues which i feel they have made incorrect decisions many times i have been branded but it didn't stop me sometimes i have to stand alone without the support of my own ministers but i have always tried my best to do what God has placed in my heart, the, ver the burden has been heavy at times, but God has given me the strength, and many of you have given me the encouragement and support. Like Paul, I have run my course of this race. I am about to pass the baton to the next runner. I am a tired old man. My broken body, <laughs> having bypass surgery heart bypass 2000 has been held together by the grace of god and by the love and care of my family and by your support and your prayers perhaps i have another race to run perhaps it's time to be a coach i'm sure god has a plan for me and my family not to be just be with my grandchildren but to be a messenger of god maybe another country. I give thanks to God for every day of service, the good days and the difficult days. My departure, my dear friends, is to allow other ministers of the Indian division to take appointment. Because I am the most senior one, and going out has allowed another minister who has been made, waiting for two years to get an appointment to come into full-time service. And that is why I have to step aside, make way for this man who has been waiting for the last two years to come and have an appointment. I am so grateful to all of you, people with whom I worked hard, those who supported me, I give thanks to Randini and the support throughout the years. I give thanks to God for those who have held positions of responsibility. Hard times, people who work. Edward Trey, Mr. Sukhu sitting here. Those were the most difficult times for the division. But these people were there. Ben Bhagwan, these were the people who just stuck with me. And we were together to see the division through. I am grateful for all the support and friendship that I have received from this second. Those who have taken me, people like Narayan. When I came here as the senior second steward, chief steward. They have taken lead to eternity. We thank God for all these people who meant so much. Many times we are not able to see eye to eye. 
But now I realize how important these people were. My dear friends, regardless of who the leaders of this sector is, please give your full support to the new divisional superintendent and guide him through your contribution in the annual meeting on the way that the division should go. I also like to seek forgiveness. If any time I have hurt you, said anything that may have hurt you, or I did not rise to the expectation, please, I seek your forgiveness. Forgive me. Let me go in peace. And I do the same for you. I seek forgiveness from my colleagues, especially from Dickness Mary. Many times I speak very harshly to her because she controls the office. But she will always just smile. If it was bad to you, Mary, I did to make you a better chance. And to talk about Grace, Brazil, to the leaders, accept my sincere apologies. My strength, you have been all my strength. The children I love, Patrick, Tony, all these children. They're very lovely children. They're good friends of mine. I was sitting there, Patrick kept on looking at me and telling to me, I love the little ones. I thank God for all the senior members who have been the pioneers of our church. I pay respect to them for their advice, their counseling, their encouragement, and their prayers during my seven years here in Dudley. And also, my work is Tartangas. So please, if I have made mistakes, or offended you in any way, please forgive me. You will all continue to be in my thoughts and prayers. You all have given me so much. Please give me now one more thing. Give me your blessing. And keep me and my family in your prayers. And I will always keep you in mind. May God bless the Mother Church of the Indian Division. May that be a one-stop church. And many people who seek the Lord may find the Lord in this church of ours. And may the legacy of Hannah Dudley live so. And may we continue to let the dia burn. Thank you very much. God bless you all. If we don't meet here, we'll all meet up there. God bless you all. Amen.